So this is the Qi Smart Timer. And what makes it different from other timers is that it connects to the Qi Smart Player. As well as, of course, a tournament display, just like timers should. So if I click connect, I can search for this timer. It will find it very quickly. I can very quickly connect to it over Bluetooth. I mean, that was like three seconds to connect it. That's way faster than the GAN timer connects, if it connects at all with their complicated app. So the Qi Smart Player app is quite simple. All it has is scrambles, what the scramble looks like, every WCA event, and some charts on your results. So right now, I can do the scramble. And then I can have a good look around the cube before planning out something really stupid because I'm not good with scrambles like this. Well, at least it's sub 10, but that's still quite bad. And what's more is Qi were kind enough to include this in the box. Now, what is this? Well, it's a phone stand. I mean, people pay like three pounds to buy one of these so that they can film themselves at competitions and stuff like that. But Qi have just included this for free. So I can be sitting right here with a actual timer connected to an actual display and all my times are connected to my phone and the scrambles are generated by my phone right here. So I can do proper practice sessions like this very easily. And get a rubbish time of 10.69, but there we have it. So the app can do 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three, basically every WCA event. And that's it. But why does it need to do any more? I can slide through the scramble if I want to, but obviously I should just do the scrambles that come up. I can clear times if I want to. I can add penalties if I want to. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Now, one other thing to mention. The timer itself is only £14, which is far cheaper than stuff like the GAN or the Speedstacks timer, especially the Speedstacks where it doesn't have any app connectivity. The GE timer connects to the app for just £14, which is only £2 more than the original GE timer. But something else that's worth mentioning is if you don't want to buy a new timer, well, the GE Smart Player app has an app timer that you can use. And I should probably start using this actually. So it has this app timer here, which is free to use for everyone, regardless of whether you buy a smart timer or not. And there we go, concerning how much faster I seem to be with it instead of an actual tournament display considering I've got a competition this weekend. But yeah, that's something to bear in mind. This Qi Smart Player app really is for everyone, even if you don't want to buy their timer. You can still use their app for free with like eternal cloud storage of all your results. It's pretty incredible actually what they've managed to do. And it's just simple. It just does the job. Now, of course, you're probably wondering, is this as durable as the original Qi timer? Well, I should probably test it a bit more, but let's at least just throw it against the wall over there. Oh, we didn't even hit the wall, it just hit the sofa. <laughs> let's try again. Right. Well, it hit the wall and went down the back of the sofa, but obviously it's absolutely fine and I'm sure it could withstand a lot more pain than that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe 
and this cheese mozzarella is available for just £14 at speedcubing.org.